Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in the Tampa area, a little bit actually to the northeast of Tampa, probably about 20 minutes away from downtown Tampa. And we're gonna show you this nice luxury home behind me. It's actually a production builder home. So this will be like on the top end of production builders, unlike some of the custom builders have, which are actually really, really beautiful. This one here is gonna be a five bedroom home with five full bathrooms. It's 4,576 square feet of living and the base price at time of shooting is gonna be seven. 142,990. Now that's the base price today. Uh, and today is like September 2nd, 2021, September 3rd. Sorry, thank you Haley for reminding me what date it is today. Um, and uh, that price may change, It'd be, it may be different tomorrow. So if you need to know the actual price, make sure you contact us and we'll let you know. Now that's the base price, doesn't include lot premiums or upgrades. With new homes, a little bit different than when we do listings or resales where it has a price and that's the price. With new homes, the price starts at a base price and then you have to add on to it. This one here, as we see it with the pool and everything, is probably gonna be a little bit over a million dollars just to get you an idea or in the million dollar range. So let's talk a little bit about the outside of this home and then we'll go inside and show you the rest of the home. So as we come up, we have a really nice paved driveway. It comes up to a three car garage. Currently they're using this as an office. So we have the two cars over here and another single car here. This one does have Spanish tile roofs. It's a beautiful, beautiful design on the outside of all different angles and stuff. And as we come up here, we come up through this pathway, have of course all this landscaping and we come up to the front entrance, which has these three archways, actually four if you go around the corner, coming into this double door. Absolutely beautiful entry. And as we come here with these columns, we see we do have a front patio area so you can sit out here, enjoy the neighbors, have some really beautiful houses behind us. And then actually, you know, sip a cup of coffee and say hi to everyone walking by. So let's go ahead and go inside and show you the rest of the home and uh, take you on a tour. All right, so welcome into this beautiful home. So as I come in, the first thing that I notice is we have some really nice ceramic floors that are wood plank look all the way through the main home, the main floor of this home. And then of course above me, we have these two beautiful chandeliers hanging down. Now, another thing is all these stairs. The stairs are absolutely amazing with all the ironwork and woodwork. And then as you look up to the second floor from here, from the entrance, you see these archways that go in through all the bedrooms upstairs that we'll see as we tour the upstairs of this home. Now, coming down here, now the first thing we do is go left. If we go left, we go into an office, we go through some French doors and we have this really nice office that's in the front of the house. I love offices in the front of the house because you're able to have these windows and see if anyone's coming to the front door, whether FedEx package or UPS, you can actually seal that off of your front front porch here. It uh, has some really nice shelves here. We do have a tray ceiling and this nice chandelier above us. So let's go ahead and continue the tour. And what we'll do is we'll go down the hallway and to our left here would be the dining room. So dining room is plenty of space. We have enough seating here for uh, eight people with you know plenty of space on either side of it too. So you could probably even put a bigger dining room table here if you want, but eight people is quite a, bit, quite a bit of people. We have these windows here for plenty of light. And then we also have a tray ceiling here, recessed lights and check out this light fixture. I think this light fixture is really neat. Has a little pulley system going on. I, I'm afraid to pull it, but I'm thinking that if you pull it, these lights, maybe I should try it. Yeah, all the lights go up and down as you pull that thing. That's really, really neat. First time I've seen that. So the actual cord is actually the electrical cord as I go on. But anyway, that's a light fixture. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go into the main living area house. It's very, very open plan. So as I come here, this is the family room. As you can see, it's a very spacious family room. It goes from the actual dining room, has this like little archway go coming into this specific area of the home. And you can sit here, watch TV, enjoy TV. You can have a pretty big TV there because you do have plenty of space between the couch and the TV. And then of course you have your dining room behind the camera. And then over this direction, you do have the kitchen and also the breakfast nook, which is also big enough to be a dining area. So breakfast nook is here. We do have this really nice chandelier above it. And this is also set up for eight people. Looks out on the beautiful pool and conservation area behind on this beautiful neighborhood. And then let's talk about the kitchen. So the kitchen, we have these beautiful white and gray countertops throughout and then all this cabinets the cabinetry goes all the way up to the ceiling we have glass front so you have you know you can display your fine china and everything so everyone can see it and of course this actual backsplash is actually a stone backsplash that's white so white cabinets white and gray countertops the white stone back backsplash all going really well we do have an oven right below the five burner gas stove top and of course we have the air vent right here to suck all those aromas outside of the house. So that's always good. So white over here, we do have like a gray color here. Now these, these cabinets are the soft close. So as I push it, it slows down and closes in softly. 
Over on this direction, we do have a double sink here with some really nice upgraded um, faucets. And then we do have the pendant lights coming down from the ceiling. Nice little modern design as far as the uh, chains and the woodworking and stuff like that. It looks, looks a little steampunkish to me, but maybe I'm way off on that. But anyway, here is the dishwasher. And then as we continue to come back, we do have the pantry to my left, which has some nice upgraded shelving in there. And then more counter space. A nice double refrigerator, that's a GE refrigerator, but definitely a very high quality refrigerator. More counter space and storage space. And then we have an oven microwave. So we have the oven that was underneath the actual stove top, but then we also have an oven and microwave here as well. So continuing the tour, we go left. And as we come through here, what we'll see is that we do have an access to the pool here. And then you would have your pool bath right next to this. So you can come right in from the outside. You can you have a sink, nice tile flooring, you have your toilet, and then you also have the shower. The shower's got nice tile going up with this really nice, beautiful design in the center. And of course, the window that we see in so many homes that add the natural light. Going left would be a guest bedroom. So this would be bedroom number two. You know, very spacious. We do have a king size bed here. Plenty of space for end tables on either side by where the windows are. We have a closet. All right, so this is a nice little bedroom as what's really convenient about it is right next to the pool. So if you have guests, they can come around here and then go right out to the pool. So let's go ahead and finish the first floor tour. Now, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel, especially if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in Florida, or even if you just like interior design ideas, um, this is a great channel to follow. So as we go here and we go left, we go through this archway and we come over to a drop zone. So they have some nice cabinets here, the door that's over in this direction that goes to a three car garage currently that's locked so we can't see it but there is another door here as we open up this door what we'll see is that we do have a harry potter room under the stairs storage so you can store all your seasonal goods there so let's go ahead and go upstairs now before we go up let me talk to you a little bit about these stairs obviously we have some really nice upgraded staircases here so we have goes from the ceramic tile on the floor to nice wood stairs going up and then of course we have the wood railings and also the uh, metal spindles going all the way up and as i look up it's absolutely beautiful. So let me go ahead and go up there. And what I'll do is I'll meet you up there and show you the loft and all the bedrooms that we have in the second floor. So here we come to the second floor, but before I come all the way up, let me show you these nice railings. And one of the things that if you're thinking about doing something for your house that you can learn in these model homes is see how they added this little, just little extra wood here, painted it white, very similar to actually the family room. We actually forgot to mention in the family room with the ceiling, they did some woodworking in the ceiling. Very, very basic, very cheap. But if you're wanting to get your home look really nice, you can do this sort of stuff for a very low cost and make your home pop. So great little advice for what you wanna do with your house. So let's go ahead and we'll go this direction. This will be bedroom number three. Um, we do have our football bedroom here. We got all the soccer, I call it football, but of course I'm originally from Bermuda, so English football, but it's actually soccer here in the States. So we have our soccer bedroom, um, all the decorations for soccer. We do have a closet. And then back here, it has its own bathroom. So as I come here, we go back from the carpet to this nice ceramic tile. This is all white as well, it's just like the kitchen, white cabinets, and you have the white and gray countertops, mirror, light fixture, and then this tub. The tub is also nice. We have like subway tile and this really nice uh, like uh, light turquoise color. Uh, decorative tile going along there so as well so we even have a picture of a soccer ball in the bathroom we do have these three windows here for some really nice natural light also so let's go ahead the next stop would be the loft which I think is pretty cool as I try to chase my camera person make sure you don't hit the wall there <laughs> if you could all just see what was behind the camera anyway so we come here here is the loft pretty cool little area um, they have this set up really neat. They have a little section over here to sit down and sort of talk and they have some board game pictures there. On the other side, we have the PlayStation controllers. And then of course, right in front of me, we have three TV set up with three PlayStations. So man, you can have a lot of fun here. It has game on. Uh, we have some nice crown molding around and actually the, fan, the same fan we have at our house. Haley, look at that. So isn't that cool? So this is actually a really good fan. This actually has a um, sliding glass door that goes out to a balcony. Let me go ahead and see if I can go out there. So, so you can, this would be a great entertaining area because you have that and then you walk out to this balcony that looks out, of course, to the pool and also the nice actual um, conservation area. So nice little spot here. So anyway, let's go ahead and close this back up and make sure we lock it. And then we'll continue the tour. 
So let's go this direction here. They have, what's this? They have pure coconut water here for some reason. They have three of them. Hmm. That's an interesting little decor. So we go down this direction and then we'll go to, let's go to the right first. So we come here and then we have, this will be bedroom number four, I think. Yeah, four. So this is a nice little thing. It's all about ballet and another little decorating little vice here. You have the woodworking down here, obviously not that expensive to do. And then they did these stripes as far as the paint going all the way around the room, which really makes this room pop. I love the, I love the woodworking and then it transitions to that paint. We do have a closet right here. It's a walk-in closet and that's this specific room. So next stop would be right. This would be bedroom number five, but actually we'll stop here first. This would be a full bathroom. We do go into gray tile. We do have a gray actual um, cabinet, nice countertop, of course the light. And then behind me, we do have that subway tile. They have a little bit different on the decor. It looks like oval shape, uh, decorative tile going around. Looks actually pretty, pretty uh, nice. You know, it looks pretty. So let's go ahead and go right. And we come into bedroom five. This one's the football. Actually, no, it might be rugby. It looked like football, but Looks like it might be rugby, but as our football or rugby room, that's football because that's the football helmet over there. So here's the football, American football room. We are in the Tampa area. So they do have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with the pirate flag right there sitting on the counter. And this one does have its own bathroom as well. So you have a full bathroom here. You come in, it transitions from carpet to tile. And then of course we have the cabinet and a solid white countertop light fixture and the subway tile goes all the way out. There's no decorative tile in this specific one. So let's go ahead and check out the primary bedrooms to follow me. As we come here, we actually transition to this engineered hardwood. Forgot to mention that that goes through all the hallways and also into the primary bedroom. Here to my right would be the laundry room. It's nice to have the laundry room up where all the bedrooms are. We do have a sink, washer, dryer, and a little counter to fold your clothes. Plenty of cabinets all the way around. So pretty nice little laundry room right in the center of the upstairs, nice and convenient. So as we come this direction, here is the primary bedroom suite. So very, very spacious, plenty of space, king size bed. But I mean, it's a king size beds here and it's like way over there is the actual wall. Now, if I look up, there's like a double tray ceiling with wood beams going across. Absolutely beautiful. I love when they do this. It really does something. This will be a little bit more expensive than that woodworking that we saw down in the family room and also uh, coming up the stairs and also in the other bedroom. So let's go to the right. As we go to the right, we go down a little hallway and we come into the other bathroom. So let me go this way here to help the help Haley, my daughter, be able to miss the camera. So behind me is the actual cabinets. We do have the gray cabinets and this really beautiful. It's like white and it's got gray, but it's like bluish gray um, countertop and it has some little sparkles in it too. have the mirror light fixture. And then there's a tub right in the center. We have a matching cabinet over here that may be actually a little bit a little bit bigger on this side than the other same same sort of cabinet uh, countertop and so forth they have this really nice tile all the way around and of course the floor tile matches the tile around the tub and check out this shower we have this huge shower so as we go in here it's frameless and as you can see we have these nice square tiles and of course all the ceramic tile going up to the ceiling we have our regular shower head here and a rain shower head looks like someone's been using it recently it's got a whole bunch of needs to be a little wiped down right there so um and then as I close this, we do have the water closet here. It's nice and private. You can like close that and then the closet itself. So the closet, plenty of space. You can put all your clothes here and it goes all the way back. I probably make this into a custom cabinetry closet. You know, I do like California closet or something and make this look really nice. You can do a lot with a specific closet. So let's go ahead back over the other way. If you haven't done already and you've watched it this far, please do me a huge favor. Hit like, it helps other people find this video that may be interested in homes here in the Tampa area. And as you can see, we do have a door here. Let's go back out to that patio and check out that view one more time of the pool. So let's go ahead and open up and come out here. And what's really cool, this pool is beautiful. We start over on the left with a jacuzzi and then it has like a little stepping area where you can step across to a tanning area where you can put some nice lounge chairs. It's got some little fountains coming up. It's got a little plant there for the, the, the decorative design and then the actual pool which walk in. And then on the other side, we do have some lounge chairs and also a trellis 
All right, so let's talk a little bit about the rest of this here. We have a summer kitchen out here, nice granite countertops. We have our barbecue, plenty of storage areas. We do have a stainless steel refrigerator and a sink with a actual faucet right there. Really nice, we have the door there that goes into that bathroom. Now, let's go ahead and go back this direction because we have more outdoor living space here in this home. So it definitely does have some nice uh, living space outside for people that like that outside living. And then we have this covered area. This covered area has a door going into the breakfast nook and also a sliding glass door that goes into the family room. And this is set up for four person dining. And then we have, it's actually a really nice lot because we have a nice side yard, which you don't get that often with some of these new homes. But being this is a luxury home, you do get it. And then as I go over here and get to walk across this little bridge, um, what we do see is a really beautiful backyard that's manicured, nice landscaping going along, and of course the fence, and then the conservation area behind me. Absolutely beautiful. Just imagine sitting out here on a nice beautiful day and enjoying the beautiful Florida weather and relaxing at your home. So I wanna thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and also like our videos and I'll see you next week. Take care everyone, bye-bye.